One fine morning with the sound of lightning, all the animals in the jungle woke up. The sound of lightning and thunder was so loud that everybody expected a big storm. I think a huge thunderstorm is coming. The fat papaya said, Don't worry about it till the time I am here. Having said this, fat papaya opened up its stomach. See, wherever you can find my seeds, there will be completely dry. Go and spread it properly. Hearing what he had to say, the crane caught hold of its seeds and flew into the sky. The crane started throwing the seeds at some intervals. And in this way, he had almost covered all the area of the forest. Now it was raining very hard. All the animals were afraid, but they saw that the drops of the rain, as soon as it touched the earth, it was drying up. Seeing this, all the animals were happy and they all started bathing and having a nice time in the rain. But on the other part of the jungle, the animals had to face a hard time. The baby of Tinu bird, who had not even learned to cry out, was sitting in its nest. Oh my God, rain water has started filling up the whole area. If the tree falls due to this heavy storm, what will happen to my baby? I'm not able to see monkey brother also. I do not know what to do. The storm started lashing out heavily. The tree started swinging and the nest fell down. No, my baby! She started flying behind it, but the strong wind drew the bird back. The baby along with the nest started flowing out in the water. Poor thing, it had not yet learned to cry out. The baby thought that it was just fun. He went on floating for several miles. On the other hand, the mother bird was crying and was waiting for the storm to stop. And in this way, the bird started floating and reached by the side of the river. On the other side of the river, the forest belonged to Fat Papaya, where though it was raining, but the ground was completely dry. Okay, you guys enjoy this rain. Let me have some water. Come fast! The crane went to the river to drink some water. There the crane saw that in the nest there was a small baby. It was about to float down in the fall. Oh no! The crane flew speedily into the nest and it caught hold of the baby in its claw and flew. The empty nest was caught in the fall and flew down. The crane took the baby and went back to his friends. They were all having a good time and bathing near fat papaya. Hey pelican, from where you got this child? How cute it is! The baby was looking at all of them and was experiencing something new. It had never seen so many different animals. He was flowing in the river. He was about to go through the waterfall. Thankfully, I reached on time and I saved him. Now I will raise him as my kid. All the animals were happy to see the generosity of the crane. The crane started taking special care of the baby. After a few days, the baby started talking. Sara started calling him Munnu. One day, Saras and Munnu were sitting under the shade of fat papaya. Then Munnu saw a bird. The bird was exactly looking like him and was flying high up in the sky. T, T, T. Saying this, he flew out from the lap of Saras and started flying behind the bird. Saras was afraid to see this. Munnu, where are you going? Hearing this, Munnu looked back and then looked at the bird. The bird was not even looking at him. Then again, he looked towards Saras. The crane had tears in his eyes. He flew back fast and came near Saras. Saras immediately embraced him. Huh. Don't leave me alone. Now you are my family. Munnu also embraced him and started looking at the bird high up in the sky. The bird had flown high up in the sky very far. The next day, eagle came into the jungle. Wow, 
Your jungle is so nice. Even the land is so dry here. In our jungle, we faced very bad flood. All animal left the jungle. Hey, how this can happen? Let me go there and resolve the problems. Being a pelican, how you can resolve all these problems? My seeds are there. I think pelican is planning to use those seeds. Your guess is correct, papaya. Sarus took many seeds of mota papaya and flew out in the jungle. He reached the eagle's jungle and saw there was water everywhere. All of them were unhappy. One or the other ones were stuck somewhere. The crane started throwing at regular intervals the seeds that he had brought from fat papaya. Wherever the fat papaya seeds used to be thrown, several meters the water used to dry up and the ground used to be good. In this way, he went on to rectify half of the jungle. Most of the animals were now very happy and started waving their hands to thank Saras. The other animals who had fled from the jungle came back to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Sarus heard somebody crying. He saw a bird crying, sitting on the branch of a tree. Sarus went to that bird and saw that the bird was exactly looking like Munu. What happened, Sparrow? Even now I have saved your jungle from this flood. Why are you crying now? Somehow, you took care of the storm. But there has been a storm in my life, Crane. My baby! who was blown off the tree along with the nest. I did not get my baby till now. I don't know where it will be. Is it alive or even dead? I did not have anything apart from my baby. Saras had started loving Munnu so very much. But when he saw tears on the mother of the bird, he could not stop himself. I have seen your child and now he can talk. Is it true? Please take me to my baby. I'm waiting to meet my baby since long. Yes, come with me. Saras took the bird and aunt took her to their forest. Munnu was sitting near fat papaya. Munnu, somebody is here for you. Then Munnu saw mother bird was looking at the baby and was crying. My baby, where did I not look for you? Come to me, come. Hearing this, Munnu ran to its mother and embraced his mother. All the animals were happy to see mother bird meeting the baby. Come on my baby, come with me. We shall make our nest once again and live happily ever after. Hearing this, Munnu looked at Saras. He was now crying. Munnu then remembered what Saras had said. Don't leave me alone. Now you are my family. Mummy, you gave birth to me and also loved me a lot. But Pelican also gave me lots of love. I can't stay without him. For my wish, can't you stay here together? We can surely stay here, baby. I will not separate you from your Saras uncle. Hearing this, Saras was very happy. Munnu went and embraced Saras. And all the animals started clapping. <laughs> well done! Now Munnu's mother will stay with us. 